Hello there, welcome to Mind Boggles. Uh, today we're going to talk about dynamic learning and how this may be helpful to you. If you've seen some of the other shows, you realize that Mind Boggles is focused on mostly how we think, how it influences our choices in life, and if we learn to think better and more appropriately, we can make better choices. And sometimes that's kind of uh, confusing, it's kind of hard. We have emotions, we have family, we have uh, money, all kinds of things are coming at us. We have culture, we have religion, we have politics. And learning more about the basics of how we think can be very useful. Today we're going to talk about dynamic learning. Well, what the heck is dynamic learning? Well, the idea of how do we learn something that will apply directly to the world in a very useful way. In other words, we're going to move from shallow thinking, which would be our beliefs that we learn as children, down to deep thinking where we can test our beliefs against the world. There's usually a kind of a, a pattern to this whole thing. We all grew up in some tradition. It uh, doesn't matter what family you grew up with. You have a tradition. You have a pattern of believing. You, know? you have your approach to politics, approach to religion, approach to how you deal with people, what's expected of you, what's good or bad. But the first level, and the, probably the most shallow, is belief. Because beliefs are things that we just assume because of our environment, because of what we're told, because of our parents. We take these on in our early life. What else do we know? We're young people. So we have beliefs. And as we get older, we realize, well, some of these beliefs may not be useful or we have problems with them. We run into people and we run into different things that happened in our life that cause us to wonder, well, how did I come about believing in this certain pattern? Well, the idea of having a dynamic learning system is where you realize beliefs are where we begin our life. We learn things from our parents, from our family, from our church, from watching television, from our friends. We have a certain belief pattern. That's the beginning of knowledge, is a certain level of beliefs. As we get a little bit older, we realize, now wait a minute, uh, who told those people that that was accurate or correct? Uh, so we start realizing, well wait, let me just, I'm not sure how they picked this up, let me just suspend my beliefs for a while and get more knowledge. So the, the next level is realizing, I really don't know the facts. And that's a very important level to realize that I don't know. So then maybe you do some active research, take a topic, um, abortion, gay marriage, uh, our approach to religion, um, whatever it happens to be, you go to the library, you do start doing research, you pick up books, you start reading about it, to, so, you, so you can have some information. Um, Maybe you think old folks like me shouldn't be allowed to, allowed to have driver's license anymore because we cause all the accidents. So you have this belief that old people should get off the road, doggone it, they're causing trouble. Uh, us young folks should have the, the right of way. Well, that's an interesting belief, but then you'd realize uh, that's maybe my bias. So you suspend your belief, you go to the library and you find out, my gosh, uh, there's been people doing research on this. So Jones and Smith and Johnson might have uh, tracked 5,000 drivers in Chicago that are age 55 to 70, compared them against teenagers, and found that older people are safer drivers. You know, I don't know, I'm just making all that up. But the idea is you, you find that if you go to the uh, library or you go online, go to Google, and look at research, you find now people quite often have spent years of their life researching stuff. So now you have some facts, some evidence, some data. So you have a reason belief that based on what I know, based on this research, older people are, are tend to be safer drivers. So let me take a look at the younger folks. Maybe they have to have some sort of different requirements. But anyway, the idea being now you have some reasoned belief based on information and research that's hard facts. The next level down is to test it. So you maybe uh, you have an idea, you go out and test it in the real world to find out if that works for you. You pay attention, well in this case with the driving issues, you, you start noticing maybe a certain level of age when there, people get in their late 70s and 80s that now that's kind of tricky about driving. Those make, they reach a point there where they are dangerous and that's a given. 
But now you go down to the 16, 17, 18 year old and notice how they drive and they are, tend to be dangerous as I was too when I was 16, 17, 18. So you look at things in a, a different way, a, a reason belief and you start to look around and test out what you think may be the facts. Once you really get it that, okay, this is the way it is, at least in my environment, now you have useful knowledge that, that really applies. The knowledge that you have applies to the real world. That would be dynamic learning. Another approach to dynamic learning would be someone who deals with, um, let's say, forgiveness. And you think, well, that's, uh, I, I hate my ex-wife. <laughs> Right? And you have this anger and you say you're, you're supposed to forgive. So you've been told that, you know, somewhere in your religion or your philosophy, you're supposed to forgive, you know, turn the other cheek and you go, well, nuts to that because I still hate her. Well, your belief, you know, is one thing. You realize I still have this anger and I'm not going to let go of it. Well, you take a good look at it, you know, take some research here and look at yourself, realize it's my anger, and my ex-wife doesn't even know I'm angry. It's my blood pressure. My heart rate goes up. My life starts to get small and fearful and tight and jammed up. So you start learning how to let go of anger by personally testing it. So let me see if I can try to visualize good things happening to her. Work with the idea of, I, I, I let go. I, I wish that her life was terrific. I let those, those bad thoughts go and I try to shift to good thoughts. So I start to realize, okay, when I think of her now, my, my heart rate doesn't go up quite as much. My blood pressure doesn't go up quite as much. I can test it and realize, you know, this forgiveness stuff is not just a good idea or part of a belief structure, if I test it personally and practice it, it actually works in my life. Now I have useful knowledge, right? It's useful, I've tested it, I've done, gone through the process. I realize forgiveness isn't just a religious uh, concept. If I work with forgiveness, I let go of all the anger and rage and revenge out there and my life starts to get calmer, more peaceful, and more spacious, quite frankly. Early in the, uh, some of the Mind Boggle series, we talked about uh, how to relax. The three levels of relax your body, relax your jaw, and slow your breathing, right? Well, if you just hear it, it's a nice, interesting idea, maybe a belief, but if you test it, work with it, and do it, you realize, wow, relaxation is a skill. It's not natural, it's a skill you can acquire, right? So let's apply this to, to a different topic like uh, anger. Anger, by the way, is a very natural emotion. Uh, you can keep a natural anger for about 15 seconds. That's it. After 15 seconds, you've got to work for it. Then you get into things like hatred, which you have to be taught how to hate. Someone has to teach you to hate a certain group. That is not natural. But anger? 15 seconds, and it goes away for the most part. But let's say you, you're working with anger and you're all jammed up about stuff. Well, you might say, well, how about that ball guy on Mind Boggle said to relax? Let me, let me try that, okay? So you uh, make yourself comfortable and you relax your jaw and you begin to slow your breathing and you realize, oh, if I breathe slow, my mind becomes calm and peaceful, okay? Your breath controls your mind. Right? Now, I've said that and uh, maybe you've heard it and maybe think, well, well okay, I'll, maybe the guy's right. But if you test it, yeah. like the next time you get angry, try to stay angry, really consciously try to get even more angry, but say, let me try to breathe slow and breathe slow and your anger just disappears. It just is gone. That's useful knowledge, is it not? You know? Realize, I am not my mind, I am not the anger, you know, if I slow my breathing, my anger will just, whew, gone, you know. So I challenge you today, have some fun with this. The next time you get angry, 
slow your breathing and you will find, I think you will find, the anger will disappear. But that would, if you find that to be true, that's useful knowledge. You, know? you move from a belief that, oh, I shouldn't be angry or I, sh I should practice forgiveness. All those things are kind of up there in the belief level, which is not very useful. But if you apply it in your life, test stuff, right? Then you have something, ah, this is going to be good. I like this. This, this. These are some tools that helps my life become uh, softer, more gentle, more compassionate. I am not the anger that comes in, goes past, and disappears. I am not the anger. I just have it for a moment. My mind's just going all over the board. Let me slow my breathing and let the anger go by. Useful knowledge. Yeah. So dynamic learning. Belief is very shallow. You can work with it. You, know. you suspend your belief realizing maybe, I'm, maybe there's something more here that's important. Let me do some, I don't, know, I don't know what works. I don't know what to believe. Let me do some active research. Then from that I have reason belief. Then I can test it personally. Then I have useful knowledge. If it's not useful knowledge, what's the point? So try to find ways to test information, test your beliefs, test it to find, okay, this doesn't work, this does. Okay, makes sense, kind of mind-boggling sometimes to test some of this stuff. But hope you enjoyed today's talk on dynamic learning, and perhaps you will learn to test this idea that I've been talking about by relaxing your body, relaxing your jaw, which relaxes the body even more, and slow your breathing and allow all those negative thoughts and emotions to just disappear yeah. by slowing your breathing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, hope that'll be some useful knowledge for you. Until next time, I hope you enjoy this and today see if you can do something good for somebody and take care of yourself. See you later.